Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It feels so good to be here shooting another video for you guys. Today I just want to talk about some of the breakthroughs I've been having on the spiritual path. I have come to know letting go in, in so much of a deeper way recently. Um, and I've basic, basically been bludgeoned by pain and suffering into letting go. So this hasn't been some pleasure-ridden, magical, it has been magical, but it hasn't been, you know, like that typical on top of the mountaintop realization um, type of path for me to get here. It's been riddled with severe and all-consuming pain. It's just been, I basically just went through like another mini dark night of the soul for a couple weeks that completely had me submerged in darkness and feeling hopeless and like like life wasn't fair. Like I felt like a victim. I felt disempowered. I kept wondering like what have I done wrong? Why am I here? You know, and I, it was a extremely brutal and challenging time. But on the other side of pain, if we are open to pain and we receive its gifts, we find our liberation. We find our freedom. We find like our true essence. We find our the real expression of who we are. And that's what I've really have had a breakthrough with. I've had a complete a complete shift regarding how I deal with my fears. I feel like for the longest time, for the last year and a half, I've been just trading one fear for another. So I would recognize a fear, but instead of going through it, I would just, you know, I would just, my ego would just grab it and transfer it to something else. And then it would give me the false sense of conquering a fear, but really I just moved the fear to something else. And and the one fear that every fear emanates from has still been there in all of its in a lot of its force. And it's been something that I haven't wanted to reckon with or to really deal with. And I started I just started coming up, you know, uh I started like conceiving all of these minutia fears about certain foods I can't eat, environments. Um, I mean just little things. Like even superstition started playing a role and I got all twisted up about energy and I, you know I just started going whenever our psyche gets corrupted by fear then all types of silliness can ensue um, in the psyche and all of this pain I've been suffering all of this just dis-ease um all of these kundalini symptoms that have come surging back into my life, like the electric crawling feeling, the like acid rain in my head, like just a burning and burning um, in my skull and behind my eyes and just just the fero ferocity of it and the all the ever present nature of it really brought me to my knees and in that process it illuminated how much fear really still has been running me. It brought, it shined this, ignore, it did this bright light on like all of these fearful programs in my head. It, my awareness, the pain brought to my awareness how I've been a prisoner to my fears in even the littlest of ways. And the thing is, is we can't be free until we're completely fearless. Fear will always, you know, with, you can't go with the flow of life. You can't truly surrender until you've surrendered into your fears. Because if you're trying to go with the flow of life and you have fears, they're going to get in the way. And they're going to be like a drag on your rudder, on your boat. And they're going to knock you off course. 
and they're going to shipwreck you at times. And that's what happened to me in this, these last, you know, two weeks of this dark night of the soul, which I wrote about in extensive detail. Um, I'll post that blog post. It's called the gift of pain. Um, and I think it's a post that will really help anyone going through a dark night of the soul or going through any Kundalini or Ascension awakening type energetic symptoms. It can really bring a deeper understanding to those. And that's, that's what I finally realized is, oh my God, you know, this pain is here to serve me and it's screaming in my face in a violent way to show me what I need to see, to see, I needed to see how I was still running from my fears, avoiding my fears, escaping my fears and displacing my fears all over my psyche and not just hitting them head on and opening to all the fears and letting them dissolve through that process of openness. I feel like I've went through like this, I, I initially had this intellectual understanding and I feel like it's been deepening into a more, into like my body and my being and my DNA of like, oh my God, I would rather, I had this realization, I would rather all of my fears come true, even the most extreme fears that the mind can create that the ego can create, I would rather those fears actually happen than to spend one more fucking second being a prisoner to any of those fears. I just can't do that anymore. I refuse to be a prisoner to my fears. And this doesn't mean that they just all automatically go away. No, we can still, when we bring the awareness to the fears and the psyche and the body, wherever maybe they're in a certain chakra energetic center wherever we can feel the fear wherever we can identify the fearful thoughts they don't go away when we give them more awareness not initially not immediately for a while we have to be able to sit with them and allow them and open to them and be okay with them happening because when we say oh if if i say if I stop fearing this, it could happen. That's just the mind's way of blackmailing you. And we cannot be a victim of blackmail to the mind or the ego. That's just the mind trying to keep its stranglehold on you and, and to keep its control and assert its dominance over your movement in life. But as soon as we're like, okay, mind, I don't fucking care if what happens. I don't care if any, if the worst thing you're saying happens, let it happen. But guess what? I'm no longer going to fight with you, mind. I'm no longer going to do your bidding. I'm just going to let you have your movement. You have your fearful movement. That's fine. I'm going to be here as the presence, the indestructible presence that I am. And I'm just going to observe you and watch you with curiosity and gentleness and compassion and I'm just going to watch what thoughts keep coming up over and over again. And I'm going to bring wisdom to those thoughts. And I'm going to allow those thoughts to be there fully. Because I know, we know if we can just do that, if we can just observe the thoughts and let them be there fully, no matter how fearful they are, eventually they start losing their momentum. And they start dissolving. This is because those thoughts need your interest. They rely on your focus for them to stay alive. And if you're not focusing on them and giving your power of belief and contracting on them and giving them so much interest, if you're just letting them be there, then they're going to slowly start dissolving because they don't have anything to refuel them. At the same time, if you try to escape those thoughts and try to ignore them and push them away and suppress them, that is an indirect way of refueling them. Because when you do that, you are obviously admitting that you are afraid of that thought, that it is something that bothers you and you don't have the awareness or the fortitude or whatever it is, you don't have the capacity to allow it to be there. 
So of course, it's just going to strengthen that thought's hold on you and you're going to be more and more of a prisoner to the things that you resist and suppress and avoid. And oh my God, guys, it was such a realization. You know, it took long enough, <laughs> two weeks into massive pain for me to like really grasp what was going on here. And it was just like this deep fear. I call it the one fear. No matter what kind of psychosomatic fears you have, phobias, you're afraid of heartbreak, you're afraid of flying, you're afraid of an animal, of death, of any fear, you name it, whatever, ghosts, entities, the dark, any fear you can possibly think of comes from the one fear. And I've been discovering that one fear in myself. And it, for me, it like resides in my gut. And it's like when I meditate and I, I really get deep into a meditation and I try to open to this fear, I find that there's like this clenching in my gut. And it's like, that's the fear. That's the thing that won't let go. And that's what we're all working through is our one fear that all other fears manifest from. So I just wanted to share that breakthrough with you guys about how I have been really surrendering into my fear and letting go into it. And through that process, I've been finding it so much easier to be in the flow of life instead of in resistance to it. And I just felt so much more energy. I felt more freedom, more spacious space in my being. And that doesn't mean the fear doesn't still come up, but when it comes up, I understand what's going on and I make it a point. I'm not going to be a prisoner to this anymore. And I open to it and I just say, let it fucking happen. Whatever the fear is in that moment, fine. I don't care. I'm an indestructible being at my core essence. I'm an infinite internal being having a temporary human experience that is in more of a dream for the soul's growth than anything. I'm not going to let this mind become some, you know, I'm not going to become captive to this mind. It's, it's a machine. It's not a master. And that's what I want to leave you guys with. Keep opening to your fears and just have the courage to say, fuck it. I don't care. I'm not going to be a prisoner to you. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day. I will put my information for my blogs below. And if you enjoy this, it would be great if you subscribed and liked and shared it. Thanks a lot, guys. Namaste.